We're gonna start with a typical steel pipe penetration coming through a one or a two hour gypsum wall. So this is gonna be system number WL1049. So this is gonna give us a maximum 36 inch steel or iron pipe, six inch copper pipe or tubing, six inch conduit, four inch EMT, or a one inch flexible conduit. So as you see, we have plumbing trades covered, sprinklers, mechanicals, and of course, electrical as well. WL1049 is tested to the ASTM standard E814 and UL1479. It's got an F rating of one or two hours, depending on the wall, and the wall type is gonna be determined on how many layers of gypsum are gonna be on there. We'll see a T rating of zero, which isn't important in wall penetrations. Eddie, you could, you know what you're doing. He's, yeah, he's I'm caulking. Just, I'm just waiting, I'm waiting. What is the depth on this one, John? The depth on this, I'll, I'll jump all the way to the bottom just so you know what you're doing. It's I, I five, gotta know what I'm doing. Five eighths of an inch. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna keep reading the system down while you do that. So okay. Eddie's toggling kind of back and forth there. And why are you doing that, Eddie? I'm ma making sure I'm making positive contact with the drywall and with the pipe. And I'm also checking the depth of my sealant as I work through. Sure. the pipe and periphery. Nice. So as Eddie's doing that, I'll kind of read down the system just to make sure we have all of our bases covered here. So this wall is, again, one or two hours, and studs can either be wood or steel. And this is gypsum wall, a wall board, obviously. We have an optional metallic sleeve. There is no metallic sleeve in this system here. And then again, our, we have our through penetrants are varied here. Steel pipes, iron pipes, conduit. And of course, annular space is always uh, you know, critical here. So this annular space in this system will be zero or point contact, meaning that that pipe can be touching the gypsum on one side to a maximum of two inches. And then finally, our sealant will give us that fire rating back, five eighths depth of sealant. And where there is point contact, we're gonna have a buildup of three eighths of an inch bead of sealant there that Eddie's gonna Malcolm. finish off there. Correct. There's nothing in this system that would tell us that you have to do that, but it is best practices because it'll give us the proper depth. In the meantime, for more information, please visit www.stifirestop.com.